Thanks for joining us at Ride On Replicas, where we're proud to bring you the best scale model kit reviews on the planet. This review is meant to demonstrate a change of pace, or a slump buster as they're called. It's really just trying to show you that you can have a lot of fun with models. Now the kit started out as what they call a brown bag contest build from my local model club. And uh, it somehow seemed to be pre-selected for me uh, just to see what I could do with the ground pounder kit because I'm kind of known as a car guy. Um, I think it was a setup <laughs> so from the other club members. So when I peered into the brown bag and noticed uh, that there was a raffle ticket on the end of the box, I knew that this was going to be a challenge. So I thought about maybe building the kit box stock for about two seconds. And then I thought, hey, maybe I can turn the table on these pranksters. So I tanked that idea and began to think of a way to turn it into some fun building instead. Now don't get me wrong, this is a nicely detailed kit. Uh, the base was the British tank destroyer uh, M10-2C Achilles. It's a Tamiya kit and um, it's number 32582 and 148 scale. And it was superbly detailed, even the tiny parts were flash free. And sometimes it just does a body good to go crazy and let loose. And that's half the fun of modeling, and I would urge all of you to do that sometime now and then. And with that thought mostly in mind, I'll explain to you what I did to this venerable tank buster to turn it into the road raging Autobahn cruiser that would make Mad Max proud. For the most part, I only use the upper and lower hull section, the turret, and the barrel for the build. Most of the kit's parts, including the ammo, track, breech, gunnery equipment, and it is now in my parts box, awaiting the next time I go crazy. So, as you can see here, I uh, have uh, absconded some 132nd scale Corvette wheels for my front tires, and that's the blue arrow, and the black arrows indicate some uh, pieces of sprue tubing uh, as I had drilled a hole through the uh, hull to provide um, a place for the axle and then a couple of spacers there to uh, set them off just a little bit from the body. At the back end I simply glued a piece of uh, tubing for an axle to the uh, rear end there and then uh, fitted it with some drag slicks from an old dragster kit and that's the uh, white arrow uh, shows the axle and the slicks by the black arrow now the red arrow indicates the exhaust pipes and those again the same tubing I uh, just hollowed out the ends uh, and glued those to the back end and painted the tips chrome. So the bottom of the hole was painted uh, flat black to replicate what a car body would look like and the blue arrows here indicate the um, uh, missiles the uh, air to air missiles that I borrowed from an F-18 uh, 144 kit and our 172nd kit and uh, it also had the um, uh, launch rails molded in and the black arrow there shows where I had uh, cut a slot to uh, insert the launch rails up against the sides of the hole. So here you can see the uh, the missiles that uh, after they're you know, mounted to the side of the hole and I put them up front kind of like a bumper uh, but they are also uh, chromed. I used uh, one of those Molotov uh, chrome pens and uh, came out pretty nice. Now the uh, turret uh, and barrel, uh, the gun barrel there, was a little long for short range work so I shortened that by taking about two inches off of the end uh, and then reinserted it into the uh, turret um, plating up front. I drilled a couple of holes for a couple of uh, old um, 32 Ford um, headlights uh, and then just inserted those into position there at the front of the vehicle. To give the um, vehicle some definition and to have some fun, uh, you can see that uh, I made my own decals here in uh, PowerPoint by Microsoft, but you can use just any, uh, any photo program uh, that will accept text and images. And then uh, printed that out on an inkjet printer um, in uh, color and um, I then uh, apply them later on to the vehicle. Uh, it's pretty easy to do. You just make sure that you get them sized properly uh, with a couple of test runs uh, to make sure that they'll fit onto your model. I also happen to have a couple of gauge uh, items and panels on hand, although you could even 
print these out just as well from images off the internet and use a decal. Uh, but I happen to have these, so I used uh, some standard hot rod gauges from uh, the uh, model car garage. And you can get those online from uh, MCG uh, at a pretty reasonable price. Here in the driver's position, a lot of the detailing was done, and um, I used um, you know a little character, 124 scale driver character, um, for my model, uh, just to give it as you know pretty much a persona of a, a compact bulldog style um, vehicle uh, that you possibly see somebody driving. So I I used um, a, a piece of, of Oh, clear acetate from a uh, packaging that had a little lip on it. You can see the round uh, white circle there. It, it rolls underneath the edge of the turret uh, in front there, and I glued it into position. Then I used the chrome pen, uh, show, the red arrow shows you there, to provide what looks like a windshield um, rim. And then uh, the blue arrow uh, is the steering wheel that was just glued under that, and uh, the white arrow is where I put the uh, dials and gauges uh, that we showed you earlier. I found an old roll cage from uh, some of my NASCAR models and uh, put it into position here. It just fit right in there and the angles were right for the um, um, particular turret angles there. Uh, but um, just about anything would work in that regard. And you see the white circle. Um, I had to reposition his arm so that it was at least up onto the steering wheel. Um, I didn't finish that off real well, but um, you know, details are uh, the enemy of time, so <laughs> you can use as much as you want, but in this case I was just having too much fun and I wanted to get this model finished. So you can see uh, the black rows here point to the uh, velocity stacks that I borrowed from that 32 uh, Ford Roadster, and um, I just you know painted those uh, chrome and hollowed out the ends, uh, put a little blackening in there to appear as if they were hollow. And then uh, I glued them in from underneath where I had cut some uh, slots and holes there to uh, uh, mount those from underneath. And uh, as you can see, the um, also uh, there's um, some parts that I borrowed from the tank kit. Uh, looks like uh, uh, a, a, tr a trap box maybe for or sighting box for the um, uh, turret and uh, gun. And then I used some of the grab handles there that. Uh, are uh, mounted onto the vehicle uh, for the handles uh, and then I added a little piece of styrofoam or uh, styrene to the top of it and shaped it so that it looks like a cooler uh, that's uh, used for um, beverages on its uh, runs. Uh, here you can see more clearly where the um, slots were cut for the velocity stacks and uh, the um, grating there in the back was uh, given a little uh, uh, black wash uh, in order to bring out the uh, grating make it appear as if uh, it's is uh, hot you know got slots in it with the white arrow it was time to uh, apply the decals and uh, as you can see she's got quite a rake on her uh, like some of the old hot rods from the past uh, but it's ready for action on the roads and you can see the um, what you they used to call the kill or victory markings there just below the windshield um, they're both cars and trucks, so uh, this uh, particular um, vehicle has seen some action. And uh, it kind of fits. Road Raging uh, is its name. And even uh, if you look around, um, there are maybe people like this that you've seen on the road. They just didn't have the missiles showing. Well, there you have it. It's not hard with a little imagination to turn something into a fun project like this. Now the model's dimensions here are about five inches long uh, and two and three quarter inches high and wide and there's really no scale to it but uh, compared to uh, a 124 scale Corvette uh, you can see uh, that it would measure up to like a very compact car with a lot of horsepower and firepower. So take a chance, uh, gather up your spare parts Print out some decals to embellish your creation, and you'll be able to drop a totally new vibe on your shelf. And as you can see, she's properly licensed and street legal, so watch out for road raging on a road near you. We hope you liked this model kit fun review, and so that you don't miss any more, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And you can find us on Facebook or our website, rideonreplicas.com. Thanks!